Ooh, the signal is spotty. But we don't need the signal. Because we steal the waves in the air and we never give them back. Oh yeah, and if you're listening closely, you'll notice there's no intro music. Because, well, all things considered. But if you listen even closer, what is that? Is that the natural mating call of the Louisiana generator? Oh, indeed it is. They are out a plenty today. And the day before and the day before that. But I bet you're thinking, well, it's probably time for one of his Pickering Unplugged special episodes, right? Well, you'd be wrong about that, my friends. And let me tell you why. Because it's true. Yesterday, and the day before, and the day before that, shit went down. For real. So everyone's attention was inward. And today, you know what? Things are gonna happen. And once again, everyone is gonna be focused inward. And tomorrow, tomorrow, something is going to happen. And everyone's attention... Well, it'll be focused inward as well. And all along the days and ways are excuses on why to ignore what's going on in the world today. And oh, no, no, my friend, we started this thing we do because people ignore what's going on in the world today. So in reality, it is the perfect time for us to say, Welcome everyone to the Lo-Fi Poly Sci Podcast. I'm your host, Michael Pickering. That's right, Lo-Fi, really Lo-Fi. Low fidelity, low quality, in your face, messy as can be, global news show. And we are indeed gonna talk about our famous question. All generator as background music and all. So what has been happening in the world lately? And I bet you think we're gonna talk about Afghanistan. Well, not right off the bat. Oh, no, no, maybe number two, but in a little bit of a different way. So let's head to Spain first. What's been happening there? Well, a continuation of things, as a matter of fact, because as of now, 107 people have been arrested for, wait for it, let me get that serious voice out. These people have been arrested. The 107 individuals are marijuana criminals. These people are selling the reefer. I mean, damn, Spain, 107 people, mostly Albanian. That's not suspicious at all. And 42 raids, mostly in Barcelona. But they busted over 50 weed farms. Now, a question to you, lo-fi listeners out there. What do you think happened to all that marijuana? I mean, for real, where are the weed at, people? Write in. I'm curious your thoughts. Now, let's head over to Afghanistan, because I know you've been waiting. So as of yesterday, September the 2nd, or September the 1st, the U.S. is out. NATO is out. The Taliban are in full control. So what's going down? What's happening in Afghanistan? And your answer? Exactly what we said would happen. The Taliban has gone back on almost all their words. Women are not allowed in any top government positions. And reprisal attacks are going on. And I can't believe I'm about to say this next thing. But I'm going to quote Vlad the Impaler Dracula Putin, a.k.a. President Putin of Russia. When asked what had the U.S. achieved by invading Iraq or invading Afghanistan, his answer, a zero result, if not negative, end quote. And you have to think, who controlled Afghanistan before the U.S. invasion? The Taliban. And who controls it even while the U.S. was in the process of pulling out? The Taliban. I mean, it kind of seems like Putin has a point. And I can't believe I even just said that. Comment below, let us know. Do you think Putin has a point? Now moving over to Europe and the internet, question mark? So we have an update to the quarrel between the government of France and Google, where Google agreed to make a deal and pay publishers for all the news content that Google puts out there. Because you know, Google's a news aggregator, not a news creator. But the French government says, too slow, too little, too late. We're finding you. For how much exactly, though? $591 million. Half a billion dollars, people. Damn. And of course, Google is appealing. I guess even Google considers half a billion quite a bit of money, question mark. We'll keep you posted as we find out more for sure. And now, let's head a bit east. And when I say a bit east, I mean a lot east from Europe. We're going to South Korea, my friends. And a bit about Apple and Google again. The South Korean government has banned Apple and Google from forcing app developers to use their own in-app purchasing systems, which Apple and Google take a percentage of that right off the top, sneaky little tech companies. But bam, South Korea, they got you. 
Oh, yeah. And I wonder if Google and Apple will appeal this one, too. But remember, this is a new law. This isn't a court fine. So it's a bit trickier for them to get around. And a last piece of news to send you on your way for the day. A bit of a Mars and space news for you here down on Earth. Because you know we got to get our space on. Get our space on. I kind of like that. We should start using that. Is that already used? Hashtag get your space on. Imagine walking down the street. See someone you know. Hey, got your space on lately? I don't know what that means, but it could mean something cool. Anyway, today, or yesterday rather, Wednesday, September the 1st, the largest piece of Mars rock went on display in Maine, the USA. And honestly, I kind of want to see this. I mean, a piece of the red planet here on Earth? Come on, who doesn't want to see that? And it weighs 32 pounds, 15 kilos. Oh, listen to that lo-fi noise right there. That's the sound of insects. Sequoias, sequanchas. I always forget their name. I can't pronounce what they are. But you know it. Anyway, 32 pounds, 15 kilos. That's a huge piece of red planet. But a question to you, lo-fi listeners out there. How did that Mars rock get here? I mean, do you really know? Do I know? I didn't know, but I do now. I'm curious. Right in. See if you can guess it. And that's a brief snapshot of what's going on in the world today. And hey, holla at me. I want to hear from you. Answer all these questions I dropped down. Give me your thoughts on this lo-fi as hell podcast today. And remember, it's you who keep me going. Who keep all this going. Because always remember that lo-fi poli is more than just me. It's the we that we be. Peace and well-being to all my human beings out there. Much love and always the best. Pickering, signing off, but not out.